Hi guys, this is Peyton Miller. Um, I'm going to be talking about chapter eight, the reluctant welfare state. Um, and this is a really important time in American history and specifically for our class because um, many of the social policies created during this time, um, while some were progressive, such as Roe versus Wade and um, some of the disability rights that were then um, included, there was also a lot of issues of non-equality, such as desegregation not being supported by presidents like Nixon, and the Equal Rights Amendment not being passed, um, partly due to strong opposition by um, the conservative female party. Um, and with that, we also created many other, uh, unfortunately, racist policies, which uh, continue to thwart us today as a country and in relativity to our class and our current predicaments, um, many of the policies created during this time are so present in modern day in their effects, um, including the ERA, including Roe versus Wade, including um, segregation and also the um, drug, you know, the war on drugs and the way that we um, decided to prosecute people um, predominantly in um, unequal ways. And in connection to um, our class, these social policies are the kinds of things that we still have to change at this point. And understanding the history of where our social policies came from, such as, you know, why did Nixon choose to pass certain things, but not others? Uh, really leads directly to our current times in terms of we are still dealing with the war on drugs and trying to de-racialize that as well as trying to deal with the equal rights for women in our country and as well as that disabled people. And as we progress as a country, we will have to go back and redo a lot of things from this specific time period because so many conservative actions were taken that unfortunately uh, thwarted minorities in our country. Um, and so now as social workers or whatever we choose to be, we have the opportunity to change all of these things. And through this course, we also get to understand why these things happened in the first place. Thank you so much. Have a good day.